Hi, my name is Dr. Tracy Jones. I'm an osteopathic family physician. As a mom and a doctor, I spend a lot of time with moms and their kids. And it seems like almost every day a mom says to me, I wish I would have known about good nutrition before I got pregnant, and about essential oils, and about so many other natural things. You see, their kids are sick, or were sick, and these things have helped them to get better. We created this video series so that you can take action on this important information that we all need to know. Together, we can create a future where children and their families aren't burdened by the pain of chronic disease. I know that having children may be the last thing on your mind right now, and you may even be thinking about stopping this video. Please don't. You are exactly the person it was created for. The goal is to get you to say, wow, to go, ooh, to make you think, and hopefully make you eager to learn more. Come on, let's get started. Hi, I'm Dr. Tracy Jones. I'm an osteopathic family physician. By the time my husband and I were ready to start a family of our own, I'd already met many parents of sick children, people whose whole lives had been turned upside down trying to heal their kids. They were really suffering, and I wondered if something could be done to prevent this. I knew about the importance of good nutrition, yet in my family medicine training, which covered prenatal care and delivering babies, we hardly talked about it. We were taught women should take a prenatal vitamin. Nothing at all for fathers. My journey led me to this book, Nutrition and Physical Degeneration by Dr. Weston Price. And here, I found all the answers I had been searching for. Dr. Price traveled the world in the 1930s in search of healthy people. He found that when people were eating their traditional diets, that is the foods their ancestors had eaten for generations, food they could grow, gather, hunt, or catch, they looked like this. Notice the big broad smiles and straight teeth? These people didn't have any cavities, and they didn't have toothbrushes either. Not only did they have healthy teeth, they had healthy bodies. They didn't suffer from infections or chronic diseases like high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, or depression diseases that plague so many people in our society today. These people were able to conceive, deliver, and breastfeed babies easily, and their children were healthy. In fact, their young people were fed a special diet of highly nutritious foods for six months before they were even married, long before they would have children of their own. Dr. Price also studied groups of people living nearby these healthy people. These people had been raised on their native foods, but now had access to processed and refined foods brought in on the trade ships. And he noticed that as soon as the people started eating these refined foods, their health began to suffer. They got cavities and developed infections like the flu and tuberculosis. Their children were born with birth defects. They developed cavities as well, and they had narrower jaws. These children had a hard time having children of their own. Look at the difference in these faces. This man's face is narrower and he has tooth decay. Look at the crowding of this girl's teeth. These two boys are brothers. This one was conceived while his parents were eating their native foods. And this one when his parents were consuming processed foods. Amazingly, when the people returned to their traditional diets, cavities no longer progressed. And children had big, broad smiles again. Let's take a look at this family. The oldest girl was conceived when her parents were eating their native foods and she is healthy. Then the parents switched to eating processed foods. Look at the next two boys and notice their thinner faces and the changes in their feet. This boy has flat feet and the middle child has a birth defect called clubfoot. The parents return to their native foods and the last two children show improved health more like that of their older sister. So you may be asking, what can we do to apply this information to our lives today? Well, we can reduce, or better yet, completely eliminate these processed foods from our diets, especially in the six to 12 months before we went to have a baby. Like many of my patients, you may be wondering what exactly are processed foods? The answer is anything containing white flour, sugar, vegetable oils, or canned goods, or anything made from these ingredients. Anything that comes from a package and doesn't spoil for months. Pretty much what most Americans eat every day, right? The problem is that these foods aren't foods. They don't contain the vitamins and minerals needed to grow a healthy body or a healthy baby. Instead, choose to eat whole foods, fresh, real food. Things like vegetables and fruit, nuts, seeds, berries, healthy fats, 
Sources of protein like chicken, turkey, or fish. Whole grains. Start today. Your body will thank you. And someday your future children will too.